Can I practice the art of delay? Hi, my name is Jeff Raker. Welcome to the question for today. Whenever I present this to a client, they usually look at me, what are you talking about? Research says that when we choose to delay some things each day in our lives, we will build greater resilience. We'll build greater self-control. It can't just happen in moments of stress when we notice that or anxiousness. Yeah, that, that's when I really step back and I, and I take a deep breath. Well, great, that's good, but we need to train ourselves outside of those times. What am I practicing outside of those stressful, difficult instances? Here's what I mean by practicing delay, and let me give you the best way, I think, to do it while you're driving in the car. Oh boy, that's where some things really stir us up, isn't it? When people don't drive the way we want them to. Mm. Here's how you can do this today. Every day, do this once while you drive somewhere. When you come up to a stoplight, there's two lanes. What do we normally do as human beings? We figure out which one is going to go faster off the green light. Or, oh, this one has two cars. This one has five cars. I'm going behind the shorter line. I want you to choose the longer line. I want you to stay in a line that's longer than one you could move to. I want you to travel from this stoplight to the next stoplight or this stop sign to this next place. Drive the speed limit simply because you can. Choose to delay. I suggested this project to a leader the other day. And when we had our next session, I said, so how did it go? And, and he goes, oh my gosh. I was so freaked out. My heart started to race as I stayed in the longer line and there were no cars in this other line at the light. And I so wanted to go there. And everything in me, he said, was driving me and pushing me that way. You're going to be late. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I stayed in the lane and I was kind of shocked, he said by how I responded to that. He got to where he was going and maybe he was four seconds later than he would have been. He's begun to practice it every day. Go to the grocery store, choose the longer line. Oh boy, a lot of people look at me and I can't do that. Really? Not even once a week, not even once a month? Hmm. If you can't do that tough thing, what else can't you do? Practicing delay builds inner bracing within us so that when things come crashing against us, pushing against us, seeking to cave us in, in that sense, we have built a resistance. It only comes when we do something every day to lead ourselves. It's about leading you. Be in charge of you. Control you and do it in these scenarios outside of work. Find time to stop, to delay instead of rush because so much of life is all about pushing and rushing. Oh my gosh, you got to get there faster. I can practice delay in little increments every day. Just once. See what it does for you. And then find new ways to help make it happen. Level up your leadership with this question for today.